Number 35, find the number of moles in two liters of gas at 35 degrees Celsius and under 7.41 times 10 to the 7 Newton per meter square of pressure. All right, so basically we're going to be using the uh, ideal gas law here. So PV equals NRT. All right. Uh, I discussed this formula in a general video, ideal gas laws. Take a look in the description below for a link. All right. So I'm just going to kind of approach this problem now since I've described all the basics in that video. Uh, so what we need now is we need to know the pressure in Pascal. And we have that. This is Pascal. Okay. That is what a Pascal is. You got to memorize that. We need the volume in cubic meters. Oh, darn it, they gave it to us in liters. But that's easy, that's an easy conversion, right? Two liters, I put liter on the bottom, cubic meter on the top, and there are 1,000 liters in one cubic meter, so we have 0 0.002 meters cubed. See how fast that was? All right, and then the N represents the number of moles, so that's what we're looking for. The R is a constant, all right, if you're using, uh, Pascal for pressure and cubic meter for volume. R will then be the value of 8.31. And then the temperature here is in Kelvin, so you got to convert this into Kelvin. Just add the 273 uh, to that value. And what do we get there? It looks like 308. Right, 308. And uh, that's it. All right. So let's just solve this formula for N. Just divide RT on over to the other side. Right. So basically, I'll just do it that way. So we have PV over RT is equal to n. All we need to do is plug in the values. 7.41 times 10 to the seventh, multiplied then by the volume of 0 0.002, divided then by the R value of 8.31, and then the temperature was 308. And simply then just plug that on into the calculator. So 7.41 times 10 to the seventh, multiplied by 0 0.002, and then divided it by 8. 8.31 times then 308. And what do we get? About 57.9. Okay, 57.9 and that's moles. And that's the answer. All right, simple, easy peasy. You could have done it differently. If you chose to use different units, you, you would use a different R value. If you're taking chemistry, that's probably the way you might be familiar with it. However, you probably took chemistry like last semester and don't remember it anyway. So it's like looking at it fresh, right? I don't blame you. I wouldn't remember it either. Um, Cool. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Please subscribe. See you next time.